So Eddie is a great architect, and he's also a important and beloved member of our school community. And uh, much can be said about his work uh, and about his place in the uh, lineage of uh, kind of desert modern desert modernism in architecture, a lineage that includes Paolo Soleri and the architecture in which we are situated this evening at Arcasanti. And honor to introduce Eddie Jones. detected some passion in my voice. Yes. I mean, I, I love it. I love every bit of it. And I'm happy to share the stories. As far as research goes, I'm an emotional architect. And and I, in my research, you know, the only theory I've ever developed is the one about nature and, and, and the, the passage of time and how it can, if you are aware it will make your building better you know an old building is so much more valuable than a new building. even an old mediocre building is better I and mean, you know if you've been to italian hill towns i'm sure is there any one great piece of architecture no it's it's just the whole thing and the fact that there's fungus growing on the stone or there's you know discoloration and stains dripping down the wall. It, it all makes perfect sense to me. There's nothing arbitrary in nature. There's plenty of arbitrary, capricious behavior <laughs> in architecture. And you've probably heard this before from other architects. I don't care how sustainable your building is. If it isn't love, it's not sustainable. I just have very little patience. I just kind of keep exploring, keep exploring and testing. And, you know, that's my research, is, is not repeating myself and trying to challenge myself to go in a new direction. And then I learn something, don't I? So, it may take you a while to figure that out. It may take you a lifetime, but uh, I, I'm rooting for you. Thank you.